Hi, my friends. Welcome to another video. I hope everybody out there is doing well. Um, I have a very short video today. I wanted to do this about this specific product. I also do have a diamond painting canvas. Um, this is not a new to me company. However, what is inside this box is new to me. And I thought that a lot of you guys might be interested in seeing this. Um, this comes to us from Forever Young. I purchased this off of Amazon. I will be linking everything in the description um, for both the diamond painting and this box. So please go to the description box for that. Oh, the whole lid comes off. Okay, so let's check this out. You guys, look at this. Look what I bought. So, oh, can you see these holographic stickers? Okay, so we have our DMC stickers. Oh, can you see? Those are really cool. Those are really cool. Okay, so we get stickers, but you guys, do you see? We get our trays. Now, let's test this out. I haven't tested it out. Okay, so you just open it up, just like so, and you click it closed. I don't know if you can see, how do I show you this clasp? Can you see it's got hooks on it, kind of? Those hooks allow you to pick things up very, very easily. The way that this is made, do we have a problem here? Let me check. No, we don't. The way that this is made, the way they want you to use this is by using this box. So this would be so to speak, your storage system. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we have 45 trays, 45 trays. Look at these. It's got a little emblem on the top. Open it up. It's got the lines, okay, on the bottom. What do you guys think? Hmm? It's just like the tray bricks, but it is a different option. These snap really well. Can you hear that? And again, I don't know if you can see this, but you can grab it really easily. So when I'm like, oh, this one, you just grab the, it's hooked right here. It's curved right here. So there's a nice hand, I mean, look at this. It's a nice handle. You can just hold it really, really easily. So it's super, super nice. I love this. I don't know if I would choose to keep it in this box. This box is pretty big. And if you're sitting down, so I'm standing up right now, I can clearly see inside this box. But if I was sitting down, I would have maybe a hard time peeking over the box, especially these ones that were closer to me and seeing the um, number that goes, I, I also wouldn't use these, but you could. Now, another thing I thought about for these, which I don't know, I don't know if I would do this, but I did think of it, is you could actually use this for your storage, your, your spare drills. So you could start off with say 45 of these, if you're just starting out, you could start out with 45 of these and do your spare drills in these. The problem is, is you would end up with 10, 10 of these boxes. So I personally would not do that. It's up to you guys. I don't have the, the space, but look at this. Look how easy it is to grab these. It's super easy. Um, there's so many other ways that you, look, let me grab my measuring tape so I can measure the size of these. I didn't think that. Because these are really small. Let me grab my measuring tape. Okay, 
The tray bricks, where are my tray bricks? I should compare it to a tray bricks. So this is, we've got, it's three inches by two and three quarter. What? It looks two and a half. I'm sorry, by two and a half. Okay, that, that's better. And let's see how deep this is. It's not deep at all. <laughs> this is gonna be hard for me to measure. Um, let's see. Get as best as I can. We've got three quarters of an inch deep. So it's three quarters of an inch deep. It's three inches this way and two and a half this way. Let me see if I can find my tray bricks real quick. Um, Lord help me. Lord help me. Here they are. I just got a new hutch system for my um, bathroom. So it's really cool. I'll have to show you guys. Okay, so here's a tray bricks. Here's a tray bricks and here's one of these. Okay, so the first thing I notice is the depth. Do you see the difference in the in the depth? This one, the tray bricks is skinny. This one's pretty thick. Let's turn them this way. Can you see there's quite a difference? Okay. Um, the tray bricks is okay, so they would be they would be going this way. And here's what I'm talking about with the, so see, this doesn't have really a handle to grab. You have to grab it this way, right? You have to grab it like this, like this. This one you can just grab like this. So here's the difference there. Let me get it open. I can do this. My nails are really long. Okay, so when I open it up, uh, one thing that I do notice is this has a hinge similar to Harbor Freight where drills can get in this hinge. So you would have to be careful and shake that out. Whereas with this, the only problem with the tray bricks is the drills can get behind here a little bit, but you can just shake it forward. So again, these have lines. Let's go ahead and measure our tray bricks. In inches, please, Remy. So we have two, two and three quarters on the front. Let me close this. Two and three quarters on the front. Oh, we're at about four this way. Okay. And let's see the depth. I would recommend using tweezers if you have long nails like me on these. The depth, sorry, I keep bumping you. The depth is half an inch. Okay, so there you go. Tray bricks, and then I'm not sure what they're calling this. Again, it'll be down in the description. Um, I just thought this might be a good idea. Now, I would have to compare the price of the tray bricks. They have different sizes. I believe this, these, I think they have different sizes. Maybe not, but um, I would have to compare. It seems like this one would hold way more drills than this. I could be wrong. I could be completely wrong, but it seems like this one, because it's so deep, it's such a deep tray. Um, this one's longer though. So I would have to compare the prices to see between this kit and the tray bricks. I just thought it would be a really good kind of, I like to show different things on my channel. I like to show different storages. I like to systems, all that kind of stuff. I'm not for one or the other. I'm not, I'm not saying anything bad about tray bricks. Um, I'm just showing you guys this as maybe a possible other option. Again, I would have to compare the prices between this kit and the tray bricks um, to see, you know, the difference. Now, the way that these lay, I'm noticing, is lengthwise. So these lay, these lay this way, these lay this way. 
So in other words, do, do you not, it would have to go this way. So the, the handle, you would still have your tray bricks up like this, I guess. And the handle would be up like that. Yeah. No. So they would be going the same way. Yeah. So this is a little bit easier to handle and deal with. Um, overall, I feel like this material is a higher quality plastic, a thicker plastic. This reminds me of a very thick and beefed up Harbor Freight. Like it's way thicker than Harbor Freight. But in comparing the two, that's how I would try to describe it, I guess. This plastic is very, very thick. So the weak spot I would say would be this hinge and then of course the latch. Um, whereas on here, I guess the weak spot would be again the hinge where it connects inside and also the latch. Um, yeah, uh, just hold on. This, this is a very thick plastic. This is, this is way heavy, heavy duty -er. Is that a word? More heavy duty? <laughs> this is more heavy duty, this plastic, for sure. It's thicker and it's cute. I mean, it's, it's all shimmery, it's cute. Whereas this one is, it's a slightly lighter weight plastic, but in no way is this a cheap plastic. This is, this is, this is a thick plastic. So you guys, for whatever it's worth, I just wanted to show it to you. It, it is what it is. I'm not sponsored. I'm not, you know, none of that kind of stuff. I just thought that I would show it to you. How did I get this in here? Oh, you guys, these are the little mini ones. Or this is a mini one. So tray bricks come in this size too, y'all. Look at that. How cute is this? <laughs> How cute is this little tiny mini one? Yeah, you can get different sizes apparently. You guys, I'm... Okay, the problem I have with these is opening them. Um, You definitely need tweezers. I'm not going to force it because that's going to break my nail. So anyway... For whatever it's worth and again please look down at the description for more information about this and you can look it up i did get it off of amazon i trust this company forever young um me personally i have not had any problems with them i have purchased drills mainly from this company um have i i don't even know if they do diamond paintings i can't remember or not but i have purchased Oh, I've, per I've purchased storage systems from them and drills from them. They've always come in a very, very timely manner. Um, they must have a, a uh, hub that is close to us because I get it really, really quickly. So forever young, just go to Amazon. The link will be down in the description. Okay. So, and if you have any more questions about that, leave them down in the comments for me. Like if there was anything I left out, that you're not going to find in the description, just give me a holler. Okay, let's open this up. My husband actually bought this for me. <laughs> I have to laugh at myself every time I do this because I can never find the opening. Just a minute. Is this one that goes down the side? There's my wonderful dishwasher. Where's the... <laughs> uh, okay, there is nothing on that side. Oh, here it is. Wow, sometimes these are like, where's Waldo? Do you guys have that problem? <laughs> you do, you're just not on camera, so it's like, you do it in, in the comfort of your own home where nobody notices. Yeah, my husband got me this one. 
it is a stained glass window with a rose very pretty isn't this like kind of mandy manzano style of course i think that about every stained glass pa painting that i see um this is a 30 by 40 it's 22 colors mm -hmm. and it's all uh, oh no i'm sorry one through eight and then a through s they do skip some letters but it is in alphabetical order as far as the letters go very nice. I love that. Here's our toolkit. This is a round. The numbers match. Okay, so yeah, colors you would expect from this painting. Reds, oranges, creams, a little bit of green. Yeah, really pretty. Yeah, I remember him shopping. He was like, do you like this? And it, it reminded me of Beauty and the Beast. And I was like, no. <laughs> I thought this was a rose in a container. And maybe it is. But um, it to me, it's coming out of the container if it's in the container. But um, yeah, really cool. I like these colors. I don't typically do stuff like this. But um There is some color blocking and it's super clear. Very clear canvas. I mean, so look at on the side right here. Can you guys see that? Super clear. So yay. Um, I do have some more paintings coming. Let's see. I went Christmas shopping. So I have, I only have two paintings I think coming. The rest is, it's all gifts. Um, for friends and family, um, but I will show you those paintings when they come because they are Christmas related. So yeah, that'll be fun to look at. So again, thank you so much for joining me today. I again will link, put these both down in the description if you are interested. All right, my friends, you guys take care. Loves.